Hey there. Miss me? Alright, greetings and salutations, my name is Comic Fire, and welcome to Shin Megami Iban Roku Devil Summoner 5 Soul Hackers 2. Now, to start, you're going to want to go into loading screen tips here and go to display button advance. This is mostly just so you can get past loading screens a little faster on PCs with SSDs. I really don't think it's going to matter on PS4. I think it's going to help out a lot more. Alrighty, let's get started. So, we got your standard three difficulties here. If you had the DLC, there's an additional difficulty as well. But, uh... You know, Atlas difficulty modes are always kind of horse hockey stupid, so I'm just going to go with normal. Because uh, the only difference is going to be stats, and I think that's lazy and stupid. <laughs> you see, they have to put this in front of here. All of this actually happened uh, 20 years ago. Far off year of 2003, all of this happened in a dock in uh, Oklahoma. Famously, uh, ocean bound Oklahoma. <laughs> See, look, it's exactly what we're going through, and they're telling us, oh, it's all coincidental. <laughs> oh, Atlas, just saving your behinds. Oh. Could it be Namissa from other video game? Atlas. I knew it was you. Atlas was born from the internet, even 
before it was really a big thing. I was going to say before it existed, but you know. Kind of DARPA that. I think that, uh, that precedes Atlas by just a touch. I apologize in advance for how slow the text crawl will be in this first episode. Uh, episode. I fix it after this. Just put up with it for one episode, please. Aw. Baby. This is what all fetuses look like. Every single one of them. Ringo. <clears throat> this one's apple flavored, apparently. Ringo. Ion is a conscious consensus, born from the sea of information, without beginning or end. Though aeons pass, aeons are ions. Is eternal. Ion denies all forms of boundaries that define the individual self. Communism. Contradiction identified. You have addressed me as Ringo, requesting immediate correction. Facts and logic. I am Flamma. I was created so that the will of Ion can be put into words. You're very words pretty. Words will be a contextually vital tool for your objective. A lot of lights. The objective of Ion is evolution. Individual existence indicates extreme retrogression. From a certain point of view. Finite physical manifestation classified under the above category. Requesting explanation regarding the necessity of a corporeal form. Bunch of dumb Our monkeys are playing the game. have identified an imminent sequence of events. Ion has determined that these events represent a catastrophic threat to the future of humanity. Therefore, Our we're sending you, a, a baby. Is temporarily being suspended. Direct intervention is required to identify and intercept the cause of this threat. Sounds good. Therefore, a material form is required for material intervention. I understand and accept Ringo as the optimal form to exit observation. As Ringo, I request that Flamma provide the calculated causal evidence to prove necessity. <laughs> Better have a real good reason for waking me up, Flamma. Open your eyes, and I will show you a vision. Can you do so? Okay, Mom. Osho Marine, is that you? There she is! I'm so marine! I mean, we got one VTuber here, clearly. What's another? Should have kept those grasses on. Glasses for him, though. <laughs> What's a woman to do? Ah. I see. <laughs> it's him. We have to stop him. Soul Hackers 2. <laughs> That's his name. That's the joke. Ah, this sounds familiar. We're gonna be spending a lot of time here, viewers. There's Ringo. And other Ringo. Good morning, Ringo. Morning, Purple morning, Ringo. Fig. Ah, Fig, that makes sense. So, you got born into this mess too, huh? How are you feeling? Like the world was just created five minutes ago. Yeah, like I said, this uh, the text scroll is going to be a little slow it at first. It hasn't been that long. If we assume this world was created at the precise moment we attained sentience, that would be 12 seconds ago to be exact. Oh, of course. Your individual personalities appear to be functioning as intended. I downloaded these from... Uh, what? Uh, hey, Flamma, I don't have a joke. Who are we exactly? 
You are constructs. Your purpose is to protect the world of humanity. More specifically, you are temporary and limited manifestations of Ion. I commissioned you from a Twitter artist. The situation will require versatility in approach and judgment. Therefore, you have been created with personalities designed to differ from each other. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I'm not doubting Ion's brash of cybernetics. These bodies seem state-of-the-art and even organic-ish, but... The glove kind of seems uncomfortable. It's not covering the whole thing. policy against taking physical form. And Who is this Ion, anyway? Self, I think that's a pretty obvious downgrade, considering. You got anything to say besides just nodding? I think. Listen to me. Ha, Kogita, am I right? If they created us, then they're resorting to drastic measures. I take it we're dealing with a crisis? Yeah, didn't you see the cool cutscene a couple seconds ago? The world of humanity is coming to an end. Just didn't show Fig that? <laughs> I take it that's the point of the vision you showed me. <laughs> but not Fig. Very soon. The deaths of those two humans will set apocalyptic events into motion. They must have been great so men. that's our mission, then. Directly intervene in the human world and prevent their deaths. Thus averting the apocalypse. <laughs> Precisely. Ion's reason for existence is to acquire information and evolve. To that end, we must ensure the world is protected. We must stop all gun violence. Okay, so... Who are these guys exactly? One is Ichiro Honda, a renowned computer engineer and a luminary in his field. Sure looks like one. The other Parenthesis is a derogatory. Is like a code name? Sorry, Devil Summoner? The necessary information has already been provided to both of you. As you well should have played the first one. Cool toys. And this is a comp. I see. So this is what devil summoners used to fight. Looks straight out of 3D dot game heroes. Are we to assume this mission will involve combat? Correct. Your new bodies have been adjusted for this eventuality. However, if your forms are damaged beyond our estimations... <laughs> you can die too. Then we could wind up dead, as much as any human would. Correct. You are accordingly advised to exercise caution in your investigation. I figure this might be like a near Automata thing Sheesh. where we could, uh... Okay. I call the Devil Summoner, Fig. You take the Engineer. Back them up into new bodies if they died. Understood. Designating Ichiro Onda as Target Alpha, and Arrow as Target Beta. Heh. <laughs> beta. Mission status initialized. Fashion mode initiated. Let's see what Ringo gets. Not beating the VTuber allegations anytime soon. Well, this will be Ion's first contact with the human world. Let's make sure we do this right. Our first contact. Now let's engage with hostility. Sweet. I doubt anything could go wrong. Ah, that famous Oklahoma shipping district. We spend a lot of time here, so, uh, get used to the aesthetic now. The cool thing has been studying Japanese characters since I've come, uh, since I've recorded this, and I still had no clue what any of those said if it didn't have a, uh, translation at the bottom. Check. 
One, two, Ringo here. God, she's so cool. Currently en route to positional coordinates for target beta. What's the situation on your end, Fig? I was too late. Target Alpha, Dr. Ichiro Onda, has already been killed. Alright, our first impression has not been a solid one. Local surveillance footage too. But I did find a final message on the doctor's personal device. Well, let's take a look, see. It was scrambled with an advanced level of quantum cryptography, though. Beyond any human technology's capacity to decipher. Except him, apparently. Almost sounds like it was meant for us instead. So what's the message behind all that encryption? Covenant. That's all. Hmm. Covenant. An infrequently used synonym for contract. Though there's likely a deeper meaning here escaping me. Could it be Possibly about devil summoners? Covenant. I'll keep analyzing. Remember this for later, viewers. I think her little stick legs would have shattered with that. Seriously, though? Couldn't Flamma have given us a drone or something? This body is so inconvenient. My surveillance range is tiny with just these two viewports. Our interference in the human world must be concealed by any means possible. <laughs> That's why my coat is glowing. This mission is maximum secrecy. Yeah, I don't think they did a very good job with that. Soon we won't be receiving any reinforcements, drone or otherwise. This is so sad. But your point is made. I'll look into alternatives. We couldn't get another glowing woman yeah, named after fruit. Sure. Maximum secrecy. But now they've made two humanoid platforms, and they're even calling for direct intervention. I assumed Ion's whole thing was always being an observer and nothing else. So this must must be way beyond. Oh. What's got you distracted, Rennie girl? <laughs> oh no, acid rain! Sorry, just started raining over here. Wow, crazy. I can feel my skin reacting to this. It's all weird and shivery. Aw, she's becoming human. A reaction, considering we've never experienced it before. You'll just have to get used to it. Unless yeah. we finish this mission so fast it never rains again. Like how we have to get used to being stuffed into these bodies. I'm like a factory made sausage. Mm. Why bother with these human imitations? They're not exactly optimal. Our computing's just down across the board. Is this really gonna help us somehow? Ion's findings suggest that these bodies would be most appropriate for the mission. It strikes me as a form of backwards compatibility for the task at hand. Oh, of course. Backwards compatibility I can deal with. I just rather not feel like a supercomputer stuck inside a grandfather clock. Yeah, people on Reddit love that. If you have complaints, please direct them to Flamma. You're not the only one struggling to adapt. You could just just post an R I on and you get all the upvotes um, you ever needed. Guess I won't get anything done by whining. As long as I'm stuck in this qualia prison, I might as well have some fun with it. Better than being stuck in Kohog. We're not here for fun, Ringo. Judging by that look, it sounds like you don't get a choice. Gotta focus if I want to get used to this body. Understood. There are hostile demons and devil summoners in the area. So be oh careful. dear. I'm on my way as well. Is that something we just have to get used to in this world? Demons, supernatural entities of myth and legend. Their existence has been tied to mankind for ages, but even Ion doesn't know too much about them. Exposition. And Devil Summoners, let's see, would be the humans who make contracts with these demons, using their demonic partner's powers as their own. So it looks like cool. I've got a comp, and a demon summoning program. I guess that makes me some sort of Devil Summoner. This is all I need to fight back, huh? Seems simple enough. Did you just illegally download a pixie? 
She seems uh, she seems into it. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right, finally some gameplay. Cool. So now we can move around. Ringo's base running speed. You know, when the game first came out, they didn't include another run button, so this was the fastest you ever got to move in uh, what could be some pretty labyrinthine dungeons later on. But you put on the select button, or whatever the equivalent is on an Xbox controller, and there you go. Alright, now back to more cutscenes. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4 experience. We've taken five steps. Now here's another 20 minute cutscene. Oh no. Don't tell me. Are you telling me that the intro movie was happening in real time? There goes Arrow. Looked like his body was moved in comparison to the intro movie, though. Wonder which was made first. Ow. Little right. arrow chunks everywhere. So much for starting things off right. Is it ironic that a man named Arrow was killed with a projectile Rio, weapon? Have you located target beta? Oh, I found him. See for yourself. Target acquired. Great. How horrible. Cause of death is well, I don't really need to spell it out, do I? Bullet to the head. One and death. Maybe his head just looks like that. And the end of the world is right. Oh, great mission, guys. Ringo, just what are you planning to do? I'm gonna try a soul hack. Whoa. If there's any of his soul left in there, I should be able to gather him up and put his psyche back together. Oh, of course. And Fig, why didn't so you do much this? We don't know about soul hacking, and it's not meant for bringing people back from the dead. What else is it for then? And I just go back to Flamma, who cares? If we're not prepared to use all the tools we're equipped with, that's just a waste, right? We don't do this right now, and we can say goodbye to whatever leads we might have had. Sounds right. The entire world's at stake here. <sighs> hey, it's nice to know that you care, though. Especially seeing as we were just born. It's kind of weird, actually. <laughs> Cool, a bitch. You look desperate. Soul hacking will leave you completely exposed to the enemy. Can you at least wait until I'm there? <laughs> nah. Bye. Well, there's no telling how much a human soul will change once its body's up and gone. Plus, his brain could probably use some more oxygen. The sooner we do this, the better. Understood. Just know that if you get lost in his memories, you won't be coming back. I sure hope there isn't an enemy right behind this other container. You are irreplaceable. I need you to remember that. Thanks, Fig. But don't worry. I'll make sure both of us get through this mess. For now, <laughs> cool it, Fig. I better get started. Alright. Let's see what this titular soul hacking is all about. Invoking emergency override. Self-regulation suspended. Self-check process suspended. Nice shoes. Protection set to partial. Spell sequence, soul hack. Yeah, gross germs. Systems are go. Fret not, Arrow. The spitch triangle will revive you. I see that the rod started in his legs. Boy had poor circulation. I can feel that. Agent now sampling the target soul's wave signatures. Complete. Damn, she's running like an SSD or something. Oh. Turn that boy into cubes. Soul sync. Complete.
Everything else is triangles. Why is arrow soul cubes? Could this be saying that souls reside on a fourth dimension instead of a three-dimensional shape? Or three-sided shape? Process complete. I held in his hand my heart. Room. Shambles. Okay. Let's see this soul of yours. Arrow. The human soul is just a throbbing tesseract. Oh, she looks so happy there. Hmm. <laughs> Blue raspberry flavored. like like rats in the shipping district biting her while she's in doing all this. This this must be a memory. It's the playground of the soul. Well this is the only world we've got. No point wasting all our time moping about it. We're turning into jerks. Oh, baby arrow. I'm trying to think of what a small arrow is called, but I think they're still just called arrows. An unfletched arrow? I don't know. Yep, you're licensed. Now you're officially an agent of Yadagarasi. Oh, hey. Congratulations, arrow. Glad Yadagarasi oh, seems to have stayed from Air Brido. See, it truly is a Devil Summoner game. We're getting bits and bobs from all of them. You lied to me? He looked way happier in the intro about this. Lies behind door number five. Four even. So Damn it. Clear now. I was the one who was wrong. I'm sorry. Professor Byleth, is that you? Here we go. Looks so sad. Very comfy looking hoodie though. Jesus, is that you? This is my soul. And what are you doing here? He's vibing. Oh, so you're aware, huh? Did you know you're dead too? <laughs> yeah, I've got a pounding headache. I did. Didn't exactly go out peacefully, did you? Well, does anyone? Look, could you just leave me alone? I'd like to spend my final moments in peace. Can't feel my legs. So you're just going to drown yourself in regret? What other choice does he have? Well, I only know bits and pieces. I saw some stuff on my way down. So just what is it that you regret so badly? Who... Who are you? And why are you inside me like this? They call me Big Crane. My name's Ringo. I'm an agent of Ion. An agent of Ion. The neutral party here. Ion 
and an eternal, unchanging, ultra-intelligent observer of the times born from the farthest reaches of technology. See, it is our Ion. And the situation dictates that I have to look like a person right now because, you know, reasons. And also our Marvel. Wait, so you're not human? This has got to be a joke, right? You're a devil summoner, aren't you? Singularities typically occur outside of the public eye, but here's one right now, standing in front of you. You're not a singularity. There's two of you. Right. So why are you here? I'm here to bring you back. You're gonna help me prevent the end of the world. Taking all this in stride, Arrow. I'm very proud of you. The end of the world? Very soon, your soul will disappear. And your chance at coming back will go with it. If we don't act now, the world's as good as gone. You're the chosen one. So, come on, Arrow. You gonna help me stop this or not? Think of this as a second chance. A chance to get it right. <laughs> Look into my pulsing eyeballs. <laughs> I... <sighs> I can't let it end here. That didn't take much convincing. I think it'd be a little more questioning given that you're, uh... A devil summoner. There's gotta be devils that promise you the, the world and back. I guess really when you're about to die. Who cares? Alright, so what are we gonna do about the whole, like, uh, head and- Oh, okay. Welcome back. <laughs> Hello? You good in there? Soul back where it should be? Yeah, but I've got this killer headache. I think I already made that joke. You're <laughs> Ringo. You're an agent of Ion. There That's we what go. they call me. Glad that actually worked. I'm also in the Etrian Odyssey HD ports. For some reason. Did all of that really happen? <laughs> Organs where they should it be? wasn't a dream, was it? Nope. That definitely wasn't a dream. You got shot in the head, I used my fancy ion superpowers, and then you came back. Ah, wonderful. An average Saturday in this line of work. Even my wounds are all closed up. Did Ion's power do that too? I just used Samaric Arm. That's more like a side effect. With the soul restored, the body heals by reflex. Like a macro-level juiced-up homeostasis, which organic cells already do. Okay. I'll totally take your word for that. A soul hack can draw out all kinds of weird spiritual contingency effects, and that's one of them. Wonderful. It also took ten years off your lifespan. That said, it's a pretty drastic measure. Can't just bust it out whenever I feel like it. Except apparently you can. I think I get it. Whoa. You bought it that easily? You're not even <laughs> Sucker. a little suspicious? Wait, so it wasn't real? Was it just an illusion or something? Ringo, don't fuck with the guy. Demon spell? Oh no, it's still totally real. Boy just got his brain oh, literally scrambled. I mean, it felt pretty real. So, I died and now I'm back. Just like in Even VR. the weird things in my line of work. Though coming back from the dead is definitely a first. You didn't even know that was possible. So what does Recarm and Sama Recarm do canonically then? You ought to get out more. <laughs> Touch grass. Well, I guess I have you to thank for this. So uh thanks, Ringo. Uh, thanks for the points. Not sure what those do. Ah. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. Apparently. Except very much Anytime. do worry about it. I'll explain it okay, in due time. I better move. I need to get back to my mission. Whoa, whoa, hey, Arrow. 
mind if I tag along on that mission of yours? Also, I chill, bro. You and I might be on the same side. Give your body a little time to get used to the whole being alive thing again. You know how to fight? Of course I do. Wouldn't be bragging about saving the world if I couldn't. Yeah, I uninstalled uh, all the Ip Man movies in my brain. Well, sure. Just like that again. No questions asked, huh? Don't have time for questions. Besides, after what happened back there, I guess I just know I can trust you. Eh, bring someone back to life. How bad this mission's gone. I'm not in a position to turn down help anyway. So I'll follow my instincts. Doesn't matter if you're a robot. <laughs> the same instincts that got a bullet in my skull. Robot's kind of reductive. Ringo experienced a oh, microaggression. Whatever you are, I'm glad you're on my side. For the record, I'm Arrow, a devil summoner with Yatagarasu. Yay! Yatagarasu, huh? <laughs> Chilling with the crows, I see. Nationalist group based in Japan. They work behind the scenes to protect civilians from supernatural threats. Of course. Is Raido still alive by any chance? Summoners, like me. We summon and command demons to help us fight. That's why I was here. Yadagarasu had me on a mission to protect a woman named Milady. Haru? Which you totally botched and got your skull ventilated. Say no more. So now <laughs> we can look around this area for Milady? I'm awfully callous about this, or cavalier even. Yeah, that's the idea. Come on, this way. Cool. I sure hope there aren't enemies right to the left. Okay, Fig. Mr. Beta's secure and back on his feet. For now, I'll be working with him to rendezvous with a human named Melody. You gotta do the poor guy like that? Just got shot, now you're calling him Mr. Beta? Noted. I'm glad to hear it. I'm on my way. Fig, you think you can try that with Ichiro? Well, at least we're not on the fast track to the apocalypse now. Hopefully. Yeah, we'll see how well Arrow manages this mission. Let's not count our chickens quite yet. Sweet! And now I've got Arrow! But let's not go too far ahead, because I believe now is a good time to call it a first episode. Alright. But what could be up with this Milady person? Who could they be working for? Who are these enemies against Yadagarasu? Find out next time on Let's Play Soul Hackers 2. See you guys then.